People were worried that having better evaluations of what the models are fully capable of doing was dangerous, and maybe you shouldn't be finding that out or shouldn't be publishing it. This is something we've discussed a lot internally at Meter. I think there's a different framing, which is the rate of investment in capabilities progress and the amount of investment in safety are both a function of hype and awareness. For example, talent. There's a bunch of people who only started working on safety after seeing chat GPT or mm. GPT-4, some level of capabilities that are like, oh, and there's like policy actions, which are only going to happen once it's sufficiently obvious that these capabilities mm. exist. In some sense, you're racing Moore's law by default. This knowledge resides only in the labs, which are specialized in capabilities progress, differentially moving that understanding from being just in the labs to like the broader public who don't love all this <laughs> racing ahead. You think about it in terms of the ratio of progress inside the companies to the amount of freaking out and action by other people outside of the companies, which is able to get some sort of governance and policy response. It's only by publishing these sorts of results so that everyone in the broader world understands what's going on that you actually get enough attention and enough concern that the problems can be solved ever at all.